a video game enthusiast creating a more accessible future for video games on today's In This Together, presented by Amazon. Hey y'all, and welcome to In This Together. I'm Alejandro Alba. Despite the rapid advancements in quality and design, the video game industry often falls behind with accessibility. But knowing the power and connection gaming can bring to those living with disabilities, one gamer in Washington, D.C. set out to make change. Mark Barley understands the emotional pain caused when a disability makes it impossible to play a video game. I was a programmer um, who lived with a disability that had disabled friends. And I used video games to stay connected with my best friends. In 2004, I waited for my friend to log on and she never did. And so I picked up the phone and, and I gave her a call and her husband answered the phone and, and I could hear my friend, she was crying in the background. And what had happened was that afternoon, multiple sclerosis had decided that her mousing hand wasn't gonna work. Knowing that his friend wasn't the only person facing this issue, Mark went on a journey to find solutions. This was 2004, the internet had solved everything. So I'd spent all evening looking for these solutions and I wasn't finding anything. I wasn't finding anyone having conversations or talking about how people with disabilities were approaching video games. We knew that people with disabilities were having this struggle and we kind of took it upon ourselves that this was a problem that we were going to solve. Mark created a community with a forum called AbleGamers.com. I started Able Gamers as this safe place for people with disabilities to kind of gather and solve our own problems. But I learned very quickly that our forum wasn't going to solve the problems, that we needed to start talking to game companies. And so we had to evolve into this advocacy organization and we had to start really finding ways of sharing our story in the places where games were made. Eventually, Mark was able to advocate for the disabled community on a much larger scale. We were invited to GDC in early 2008. I set up a camera and I just asked developers, have you thought about how people with disabilities played video games? And the vast majority of, of developers they had said no. It was really hard to move the needles because thinking about disabilities was really difficult. But Mark found a creative strategy to get developers to address these issues seriously. I had discovered that if I asked a developer, if I asked someone who made games, have you thought about how your grandma or your grandpa would play games? They would chuckle and then they would actually start listing features that people with disabilities needed because people with disabilities and the problems we have when we age are largely the same. We changed the narrative to really kind of seed the idea by talking about something that most of us love and would love to share our work with. And from that moment on, Able Gamers was off and running. So we really started talking about people with disabilities as consumers. When you look at the United States alone, there are about 46 million players with disabilities. And when you talk about people with disabilities as a market with billions of dollars and in expendable income, that that is a really strong catalyst for moving the needle within the industry. Beyond just getting developers to acknowledge his community, Mark created programs to further advance accessibility in gaming. It became clear early on that in order to truly move this needle, it was going to take two paths, enabling people with disabilities, and working with the people that make the games. I have my user research and my professional development team. They're doing research around players with disabilities. They're bringing players with disabilities into the creation space. And you know, we're, we're helping players with disabilities partner with game companies so that they can add their unique life experiences to the creation of that game. We created a certification program. And in the 18 months we've kicked that project off, We've certified over 165 developers from indie studios to AAA studios who are working to craft accessible player experiences. Young people that we had met a decade ago are now working in these studios and they're starting to ask questions. And then right in the middle, I have my community team, you know, working with Twitch, working with PAX and working with conventions and really making sure that people with disabilities are represented. For Mark, allowing gamers with disabilities a seat at the table has a more profound impact than many able-bodied people realize. 
The fact is people with disabilities are socially isolated. Um, and we know that an internet connection and a well-crafted video game has allowed people with disabilities to connect and have meaningful friendships with the world. So Able Gamer's mission is to enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities to improve the lives of people with disabilities. We've been fighting for that for 16 years. I wanna thank Amazon for sponsoring this episode as part of their mission to create a more inclusive and accessible world. Click the link below to learn more about how Amazon is supporting their employees with disabilities. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, we're all in this together.